Hello my soccer universe, let's talk about what happened in the Bundesliga ever since I made the preview video and while I was on vacation and as I said in my all the videos that I've posted in September so far is I have made community posts on everything that happened since I published the preview video and so if you want to see a little bit more detail uh, what would happen then if you haven't seen already please check it out there I will just glance over uh, the highlights of the first two rounds and I will concentrate a little bit more on the round three and not that much either because yes I followed it and I watched some stuff but you know still coming back from vacation we had the last game to go to so I can only give you the rough highlights to me and I'm very in Stuttgart because statistically they have uh, made the biggest jump in the expected standings uh, they have also had the most interesting sequence of results winning two home games by an aggregated score of 10 nil while losing their away game at Leipzig by almost the same score really 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 weird stuff and I don't know if anything like that happened before yes we had it with Aston Villa uh, this year in the prep Premier League but the next game they didn't win by five so uh, very interesting stuff indeed uh, the big story there's no doubt about is of course that Harry Kane made it to Bayern Munich and this is a transfer I honestly I knew that they could afford and there is enough will to make it happen but to really land the English team captain this is a massive move for the uh, Bundesliga uh, this is a world star and the Bundesliga has not been really known to get world stars in from other leagues this is a massive move, it's very unbiased like and I'm also curious to see that because now the new sporting director coming in, Christoph Freund, who was uh, worked at Salzburg, he was not the one who bought players for 100 million euros, it was more the other way around, he was selling them for 100 million euros. So uh, watch that space for sure, I think there might be some tension coming up uh, and yes, while Harry Kane can really gloss over uh, some of the flaws of this Bayern team not everything is happy there the team does not look uh, quite yet there are some, quite some obvious holes especially defensively and in midfield as far as we hear and also Thomas Tuchel and Rummenigge are not seeing kind of eye to eye how to build that squad however this is nothing when Bayern had a really good start too, to the season Harry Kane is already on three goals after three games so uh, firing right there it's nothing to the Dortmund woes. Dortmund really uh, don't look right and the way they did not win at home to Heidenheim newly promoted and uh, without any real chance so far that reeks of real real trouble early on on the other hand I think there are two other challenges I think yes last season Dortmund also starts as slow so I don't want to count them out quite yet but if you ask me who are the challengers for Bayern this season, if there are any, it's these two teams here. Uh, Leverkusen, first and foremost. They look really, really good. Slightly ter terrifying. Leipzig lost to them uh, in the first round, but um, they also might turn a corner and I can see them also gelling because what Leipzig is doing, they've been always able to replace players that they have lost with equal talent and this is kind of the Red Bull philosophy to even if you lose a lot of players it's plug and play more or less so that's very very interesting I would say I want to just hit a few highlight results from the first two rounds so in the first round Bayern Munich uh, destroyed Werder Bremen for nil although the result was a little bit too high uh, the game was much tighter but as soon as Harry Kane made the sex and goal he could go on one way with a crazy 4 for draw between Augsburg and Gladbach. Gladbach is could be one of the most fun teams to watch this season, but not consistent at all. Then the big clash between Leverkusen and Leipzig, that uh, went very one-sidedly towards Leverkusen. I think the result is a little bit flattering. Leipzig, uh, of course, Stuttgart beat Bochum 5-0 uh, at that time. Everyone thought that Bochum it's not gonna count for much. Uh, Dortmund got a, a narrow win over Cologne, another team that I'm afraid might get dragged in the relegation zone, although they had a good sign. Uh, Union, easy win over Mainz, also another team that is, might be in early trouble. Another Frankfurt against newly promoted uh, Darmstadt in a derby, only 1 0, also showing not quite happening yet. Round 2. Stuttgart actually was quite well at Leipzig. For about a half, they had the lead. And there were some good saves by Nübel in there as well. And then he makes a mistake 
and it's all going Leipzig's way. Dortmund, next disappointment. Only 1-1 one, one at Bochum. The team that just lost 5-0 to Stuttgart. Really, really bad. However, Union in Berlin, storming to the top of the league. We had um, also uh, Leverkusen, 3-0 at Gladbach. Underlining, they are really, really good this season. Uh, another derby for Frankfurt, 1-1 one, one against Mainz. So, uh, not uh, Rain, uh, Gag again, a lot, lot of points there. And then Bayern get to uh, a 3-1 win over Augsburg. A expectedly, although Augsburg have been getting, getting points for get Bayern with, of course, Harry Kane scoring a brace. And that gets us now to the past weekend. As I already said, Dortmund had a tunnel lead at the half. I actually thought about watching this while I was wait, waiting for Milan against Roma. And I said, ah, 2-0, this is just Heidenheim. This is not, not going to happen. Huh? Heidenheim's got two goals. Not good. Not good. Augsburg, Bochum, I, it's really hard to say where Bochum is in Augsburg. Uh, I would say them lower table, but not quite sure. Leverkusen, it was at one point, they had it 1-1. Uh, However, uh, then uh, Leverkusen are really hitting another level. They look really, really good and fun to watch. As to Stuttgart. I did not expect him to beat Freiburg, and this is a, a local rival, and this is a Freiburg team that has been really, really good. Yes! Many players went uh, diff different places, but this is a Freiburg game that is, uh, that is very well coached. It's a really, really good, good team. Being destroyed 5 0 by, by Stuttgart, that's, that's something else. Bremen, after losing Niklas Füllkrug, and him and saying, yeah, we are having too many def defensive uh, troubles here, yeah? 4 0 against Mainz and a clean sheet. There you go. Gladbach took. A lead against the run of play against Bayern. However, they were holding, hold, holding on a little bit, but the Bayern in the second half just too good. With Lira Sané actually having fun playing, and this is when he's most dangerous. Gay can equalize, and then Matthias Tell from a corner has it late on a winner for Bayern Munich, playing in those weird uh, new away jerseys. Uh, um, I gotta say the win was probably yeah the win was deserved. However, you know you always wanna see by uh, drop points. Um, Frankfurt Köln only won one first point for Köln. Um, I don't know what to make of these two teams. I think that Köln might be in trouble this season. And then uh, in a duel of Champions League teams late on, and uh, I haven't seen much of it, but I'm really uh, surprised that Leipzig went to Berlin and beat them 3-0. This is a nasty duel because those, especially Union Berlin fans, don't like Leipzig at all because they're the exact opposite of what Leipzig is supposed to be. Being beaten at home 3-0, yeah, they were top of the table, now they're not anymore. We see it now, Leverkusen and Bayern, and it's Bayern has, of course, way more quality, but Leverkusen under Xabi Alonso look really, really dangerous. Stuttgart, Six points, yes, you, you consider five against Lyle Leipzig, I believe it's going 11. You're about to be up, up there, Lyle Leipzig again up there uh, as well. Uh, and as I said, Union Berlin, I think those could be good teams this season. Dortmund, we have to wait. They are kind of a so-and-so start, a little bit like Frankfurt in a way. On the bottom, I don't want to overestimate uh, the 16th uh, player of Gladbach because, you know, you played Leverkusen, you played Bayern. Uh, it's more worrying the 4-4 to start the season against Augsburg. Speaking 4-4, uh, you see a ridiculous 3.7 goals on average at, 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 at the moment. This cannot stay. It's uh, uh, many, many, many goals being scored at the moment in the Bundesliga. Uh, expected standings. Uh, yeah, Leipzig now ahead of Dortmund and Leverkusen moving up in this fourth spot ahead of Union Berlin Freiburg. Uh, sounds about right. Uh, let's hope that Dortmund can keep it up in the moment. Augsburg, Heidenheim and Darmstadt. Heidenheim and Darmstadt seem a little bit out of sorts already. So they might be some of the weakest uh, promoted teams that we ever had. After the international break, we get a Friday evening. A true class, a true top duel. Bayern Munich against Bayern Leverkusen. The top one v two already. And potentially the two best teams in, in the Bundesliga. Really, really fun one. I also think Freiburg against Dortmund is one you should probably watch out for, for sure. I think that has also a classic written all over it. Any case, that was it from me from the Bundesliga. A little bit shorter video, but that's exactly what you guys uh, want. But I actually enjoyed too. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop a line below and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!